So good morning or good night, depending on where you are, and welcome to another album review of The Shield in a Couch. I'm your host, Hector, and today we're going to talk about the brand new album by Story of the Year, and the album is called Tear Me to Pieces, and I know what you're going to ask yourself. What fucking year is it? Is it 2005? <laughs> I don't know, because this is a name of a band that I have not listened to in years. I remember way back at the beginning of the 2000s when they released the album that had Until the Day I Die. And I really remember that single. And I remember listening to them, not like a huge fan, but yeah, I remember being part of that wave of uh, post-hardcore emo bands that ruled the beginning of the 2000s. And yeah, they, they still have a following and they had put out an album in 2017 that I never listened to. I, I don't even, I didn't even notice that they had put out an album in 2017. So when I saw that they were putting out a new album for this year, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll check it out. Like I haven't listened to this band in ages. And this album, how can I describe it? The album turned me to pieces. This is 33 minutes of music and... This is what I would describe as a guilty pleasure, because this is what these songs are for me. They're a guilty pleasure. I, you know, they're. Uh, I can say that I enjoy them. Uh, there's maybe some songs that I enjoy more than others, but this band has some great, like, hooky choruses that just uh, you can't feel like like you you want to sing along to them. Even if you don't, even if you don't want to, but you you get sucked into it because it's that catchy. And yeah, another thing that uh, you, this album does pretty well is like uh, since it's thirty three minutes, you can listen to it on repeat, and, and and you know it has some replay. It's it's catchy. It's a catchy record, uh, and they you know they rely along uh, about you know topics that are um, they're, they're kind of like anthems about overcoming like uh, ordeals in life relationships and other things but mostly relationships i would say uh but yeah the album has uh there's i think 11 11 tracks and those 11 tracks you know they they are pretty the whole album is pretty upbeat there's like a few more like power ballad type of things, especially the the song that ends the album, Use Me. And that's a, that's a, a pure ballad, but I want to talk about that song later. But yeah, the album really starts uh, pretty strong and catchy with Tear Me to Pieces, uh, which is, you know, pretty a beat number. Uh, there's a lot of like post-hardcore emo influences on it, uh, catch along, you know, choruses that you can sing along to. Then you have the single that they release, Real Life. And Real Life, <laughs> uh, there, there's a part of the chorus that say, like, you and I are suicide, but that's just real life. And you oh my, you can't, like, go back. Like, I, I was listening to that song, and I, I was it was taking me back to those times in 2004, 2005, that those bands were all over the place. And yeah, this is the type of song that you, you could be like singing along in your car to. And if you had like some true Cabelt uh, metalheads getting near you, you would put it down and they're like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not listening to Emo. Fuck that, I'm listening to Slayer. Yes, I'm true Cabelt metal, yeah. But yeah, that's what this song is. It's, it's really catchy and like, you can't help but sing along to it, even though, you know, it's, it's nothing that you haven't heard before, but you know it, it's it's done well. Then you have a a song like Afterglow that it's catchy as well, but at least the lyrics here it's all about uh, being a father and you know being uh, life kicking you down and you being not happy. But when you see your kids, it's the afterglow; they pick you up. So it's a love song to the singer's kid. And as a parent, I can relate to that. You know, who can't relate to like having problems and your kids cheering you up because they do that. Uh, they they also can drive you crazy, but they can cheer you up. So Afterglow is one of the most like serious songs on the record, but it's very upbeat. It's, it's not a downer song. Then you have like uh, Dead and Gone War uh, that are like, yeah, they're like uh, mid rockers, like, uh, like 
yeah, like yeah, you could you could listen to this at a warp tour and <laughs> feel right at home. Uh, then you have like those those love songs like Can't Save You, which is all about like, you know, uh, the relationship is broken. You can't save that person and they can save you. But hey, let's try to give it another go type of song. But another thing that this album does a lot is pamper to nostalgia. And what better example than the next song, 2005. When it's all about, you know, like how 2005 was a great year and they're reminiscing about like running away from the cops and being so fun. And I don't know what cops you guys were running away from, uh, story of the year, but I, I don't think running from the cops is fun. Yeah, they can beat your ass. But yeah, whatever. So it's that type of song, like feel good song. Every band has it. Sometimes they reminisce about the 80s, about the 90s, but they're reminiscing about the early 2000s. And yeah, it's, it's you know, it's not, it's not super like uh, inventive. You know, I have heard these type of songs before, but it's an anthem, you know, that you can sing along to if you're, if you're growing up on that age and just reminisce about those times. Uh, then you have another love song like with sorry about me and it's all about you know saying sorry about like being a fuck up like hey uh, uh, I, I'm I'm getting stuff wrong in the relationship then the next other songs are more like sing along to fun tracks like uh, take the ride and knives out and take the ride has another chorus that is like it's 4 a.m and I don't know where I'm going and it's all about like yes it's 4 a.m I'm going on a ride. I don't care where, but I'm just out there. And another nostalgic song that you would you go back to, like uh, going out with your friends, going to 7-Eleven, drinking a Slurpee with alcohol. But that, yeah, maybe that's just me. But yeah, it's got that nostalgic feel again. And then when they end the album, they end it with Use Me. And Use Me is a ballad about a relationship that... There's, you know, you 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 are not clearly together, but there's feelings involved, and missing that person and wanting to be with their person is. Uh, it, there's a line in the song. It's like, uh, I wake up and your mascara is on my pillow, and I remember you, and I I want to be where you are, but you don't want to be with me. And then he goes like, So go ahead and use me if you want to use me. And who can't relate to being in a uh, what the kids call it nowadays, situationship, and feeling used, and not knowing how the other person feels. And it's a good way to end an album with, like, with a ballad, because most of the album is pretty upbeat, and they end it with that ballad. And I think the highlights for me in this album are uh, Use Me, Afterglow, and I gotta say 2005 is so catchy. Those are the three favorite songs for me on this album. Uh, does this album, you know, is, is, is it an album that you would say, oh my God, this is album of the year material? Not really. But if you like to sing along and have fun, I'm telling you, put on this record. It's a fun record. And it really uh, panders to nostalgia, like I said. Like, you can't help but listening to this and thinking it's 2005 and you're going out to meet that girl that you met in MySpace and you can pr finally hook up. Yeah. But... Uh, or a guy if you're a girl but yeah that's what this album does it's a fun record that takes you back to a simpler time where things were more fun and emo ruled the world so what did you think of story of, of the year and their new album uh, did you think that it was you know uh, a fun record uh, did it tear you to pieces uh, see what I did there and comment what are your favorite tracks uh, what other albums would you like me to talk about? And of course, again, if you like the videos, give me a like. And do not forget to subscribe. I got to say it <laughs> because I mean, YouTube and like my friend, the Metal Trees would say, I got to say it. And until next time, people, this is Hector, the shield on a couch. Keep it emo. And I'll see you right here on the couch. Thank you. And good night.